This is the right reverse. You'll need to back your bus into the narrow corridor like this, bringing your rear bumper to within three feet of the rear cone, and then pull forward and out to the right. Making contact with any of the cones in this obstacle will deduct five points from your score, with two exceptions. This cone, called the pivot cone, is worth 10 points, and this cone, called the rear cone, is worth 25 points. You need to reverse into the corridor and stop with your rear bumper within three feet of the rear cone. For every foot beyond three feet, five points will be deducted from your score. Try to enter this obstacle close to the cones on the right. Once your bus is near the second or third cone past the corridor, start turning to the left to set up for your reverse. Stop just before making contact with the far side cones and turn the wheel fully to the right. Shift the bus in reverse, turn on your four ways, and honk your horn to alert others that you are about to back up. Start rolling backwards and guide your bus into the corridor, watching in your mirrors and adjusting the steering wheel to line up. Once you think you're within three feet of the rear cone, stop the bus, shift into neutral, and pull the parking brake. Wait for the judges to clear you to go. Once you are cleared by the judges, turn off your four ways, shift into drive, and disengage your parking brake. Pull forward until your right rear tire is near the pivot cone, then turn right and exit to your next obstacle. The hardest part of this obstacle is knowing how close you are to the rear cone when you're backing up. It's directly behind you, so you can't see it in your mirrors, so knowing when to stop backing up can be tough. However, if you take a moment to count cones before running through the course, you can give yourself a good reference point that you can easily see from your driver's seat. Most of the time, the cones and the reverses are set exactly five feet apart. If you count the number of cones in the corridor and multiply it by five, you should know how deep the corridor is. In this case, it's 45 feet deep, and our bus is 40 feet long. Imagine a line extending straight to the side of your bus from your front bumper. If that line touches the first cone in the corridor, your rear bumper should be five feet from the rear cone. So you will want to stop when that line is within three feet of the second cone in order to get your rear bumper within three feet of the rear cone. Now the left reverse should be the exact mirror image of the right reverse. The cones and measurements should all be the same distance apart and everything is worth the same amount of points. Execution is the same, just the opposite direction.